Welcome back. It was a big weekend for some of my MSNBC colleagues at the 26th annual GLAAD Media Awards. MSNBC's Thomas Roberts was honored with a Vito Russo Award for promoting equality in the LGBT community. At the event, he spoke of his personal journey and when he decided to come out in 2006, calling it liberating and, quote, frightening as hell. Everyone at work knew, so why couldn't the people who watched me know? Coming out wasn't without missteps and major learning lessons, but after every storm, you can hope for a rainbow or, in my case, a colorful peacock. And here with me now is Thomas Roberts. Thomas, congratulations. What a Thank you, sir. You, Thank you. Congrats. Thanks what for having like. me here. Talk to me about how things have changed uh, for LGBT people in the industry. Well, we're still living through that fluid change right now, but I think back in 2006, there were so many people that were invited into people's homes, millions of American homes, and were part of the LGBT community. Most people at home didn't know it, uh, but people at work knew me, knew Patrick, so why shouldn't I be able to talk about that? And So what are the issues that you now? deal with? As you decide, okay, you know, this rejection part knows. Rejection, being this rejected, part being fired, uh, being, really? a, being an outcast. Yeah. yeah, and I think that we still live in a society right now where we have those issues because the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, that still languishes in Congress. And that's a bigger issue as we continue to see marriage equality move forward. I think the next big battle for legislation out of the Congress is the ENDA, you know, the Employment Non-Discrimination Act. And talk to me, because MSNBC is live with Craig Melvin, also. Big award. night for Craig. Tell me a little bit yeah. about that. <clears throat> Craig won for best TV journalism segment. It had to do with being fired at work. Uh, and he had the story of a woman who was let go from being a sheriff uh, because they found out she was a lesbian and they didn't want that in their department. So they just fired her? They fired her. Yeah. So uh, they were able to prove that, and that's where the issue with discrimination is now. And, you know, we played that clip uh, of Bobby Jindal, and we're talking about the issue of marriage equality. The Supreme Court is going to make that decision coming up at the end of June, and hopefully will give us the seamless definition that we need. <clears throat> but, Jose, if the conservative party of the Republican side wants to talk about protecting marriage, then go after divorce. Divorce is the biggest threat to marriage in society. Not me getting married to my husband or a woman marrying her wife. Divorce. That's the biggest issue. And that's what breaks apart families in this country. It's not me getting married. There aren't, there aren't straight couples divorcing because I married my husband. Right. You know, the bigger issue is divorce. <laughs> and yes, straight heads would explode if the GOP came out and said, you know what, we're going to legislate divorce. How would you like that? Well, no, I don't think anybody would like that. Thomas, it's good to see you. Nice to see How's you. How's your show too. coming along, man? It's great. It's just great. I love your show. I know we're, I, we're out of time, but I, I just love your show. Tell me a little bit about that. It's great. Are you, you enjoying know, it? Two I, hours? I love it. Hey, and I get sleep at night now. You know, I'm not up way too early anymore, so it's fantastic. So I get to sleep in a little longer. I have a wonderful team that I get to work with yep. that helped me achieve I love this, this award. award. I love it. This is it. the Vito Russo Award, and I couldn't have done it without the team that I work with my executive producer, Amika Thompson, Amanda Ingersoll, who put together the yep. piece for me that played there. They're, they're invaluable. You are as well. Oh, thank, thank you, my you. friends. Good to as see you in you. person. Thanks thank so you, much. Thank you. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.